Hey yo warriors, I'm Casual Jerry, your Open Commando, and welcome to Casual Plays, where I play a game for 20 minutes or so and then give you a basic review. So today is Dumbass Drivers, and honestly I, I don't know, I don't know what to expect going into this. I was expecting some sort of driving sim with some stupid sort of graphics. And to be honest with you, that's essentially what this is. So first let's start off the price. It's a relatively cheap game, under a... What, a single US dollar. That's where we start this. So it's a cheap game, cheap development, but it does have a couple of fun little things. So it's physics relatively wonky, and there are a bunch of little references throughout the game. Hello? You're on fire! What? <laughs> How did you... Whoa, you lost your wheel! Get in! No. You're just grinding metal. Listen, I've got to go now. Hey, go easy! There are a few other ones, like there's some from Family Guy and there's some from Back to the Future. There are also a few references in the way in the races' names, like we've got George Bush, Miller, Bullocks, Roosevelt. There's quite a few of them. Just these little references that are scattered throughout the game. But honestly, it's not that great of a game. It was definitely fun for the 30, 35 minutes I ended up playing it for. But I did end up crashing twice, which is really annoying. So I have a 30 minutes of play, two crashes, and just a whole bunch of crap. The time constraints these means I can only do a tiny little bit, so... And probably the most fun I had in this entire game was actually this last, or this first lap of this last race. So I can only get to three of the races, but some of them are absolutely chaotic. Like, your your vehicles aren't good enough to win the next race. I mean, sure, I'm a crap driver, but they just aren't good enough. Like, if you're watching right here, he just shoots past me. There was no way I could ever have caught him. And once again, this is, this is the only thing I can really do about this game, is when it's chaotic. Like, right here. This is the only time I actually really enjoyed this game. But I couldn't do it again. There were too many little things that just didn't line up. But yeah, so... Do I recommend buying it? No, I don't really recommend buying it. It's a cheap game, so sure, if you want to buy it, you can. But I can't say it's a must-have buy. There are a lot of things that aren't in the game that could be really fun. If I could play this with my mates, maybe have a couple of drinks, it could be quite enjoyable. Laughing at references that only we can hear. But it's not. So, I can't. So this is where I'll leave it. I don't recommend it, unless you absolutely want to buy it. It's kind of fun, but not really worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, I'll see you on the battlefield.